Okay, so just a quick tour of the science folder that I've shared with everyone. Um, in this folder is a few subfolders and uh, I'm going to take a look at some of those uh, individually. So um, first thing I'm going to go to is, is the textbook resources. That's the main reason for this folder. And so if we go into that folder, you'll see any resources we have for various textbooks that we're using, mostly the new ones that we've gotten in the last few years. Now I should point out that we have uh, exam view banks for many of our books. Um, and if you've already got the exam view software loaded on your computer, then all you actually need are the banks themselves. You don't need the install disk. You can just go into the exam view banks folder and download any one of these zip files that actually has the test bank in it. Unzip them on your computer and then uh, you can uh, upload them directly to your exam view software from there. Um, the individual textbooks themselves have various formats and what I've kind of done is just sort of dumped whatever it was on the CDs that we got with them. So in some cases, you know, that may look a little funny. So for example, this is the biology source uh, teacher re resource and there's a little bit of redundancy here. This is the test bank disk. And so when you open this, this is the actual disk install software. It won't actually play from here. It won't actually be able to install it from here, but you would you would actually have to download that entire uh, folder and then install it from your computer if you, ha if you wanted to do that, didn't already have the exam view software. The teacher resource, the same thing. Uh, this is the actual teacher resource disk. Uh, obviously, this is meant to be played as a disk in your computer. This is what not what these files are. Um, so if you actually want to search this, you do have to be a little creative in uh, searching through here to find the actual content. Uh, you know, your first hint might be it might be in the content folder, uh, and there, in fact, is some stuff there. But it, it, there, the organization of these disks is not entirely obvious. Um, so uh, most in most cases, these folders are just the dumps of the CDs. Um, at some point, I might get around to actually just make them more user friendly, but for now, at least you have the contents of the CDs. And so, in, in most cases, you might have to download the whole folder or, or be creative in your search uh, through those folders. Um, other resources that I have here uh, obviously, this file, this is a list of all the textbooks that we have uh, a picture, a, an image view of each book, their price, and their uh, ISBN number. Um, I've also, uh, for grade 9 and 10, we have a great resource called Recycle Your Electronics, and that's the entire uh, PDF of the teacher resource guide and the, uh, the student booklet uh, for that, so that fits into a couple of the units in grade 9 and 10 science. This space resource is, uh, is a dump of a CD that I got from the Ontario Science uh, Space Museum, and it's a ton of resources on uh, uh, not the Ontario, but the Canadian Space Museum, um, a ton of resources on uh, uh, space-related uh, stuff in, in Canada that you can find in there. Um, again, this is meant to be a CD that you put in your computer, uh, and so it won't play like a CD in here. You'll have to sift through all the information. There's images, videos, all kinds of things in there, PowerPoints that you could use. Um, the video folder is a folder that I've just sort of downloaded videos from the web on various things. Uh, you know, here, here's all of Cosmos, uh, and here's some uh, of a D a DNA uh, movie, stuff on Richard Feynman, uh, the, the album Here Comes Science by They Might Be Giants, all kinds of different things here that you might find uh, interesting uh, to include in your classes. Um, and so that's just a brief tour of what you'll find in the science folder. Hopefully you'll get use of some of that, and as I find more things, I will add them to that.